Link, here we go. Link, do you want to start off the podcast? No, you. Okay. That's the way you do it. Okay, how's it going? Right. So, you ready? Live audience, are we ready? Can we get a little clap or something? Lovely. That's a nice little clap. I don't think you'll hear the audio. Hello, everybody. How's it going? And welcome back to the All Right Podcast. But it's not the best podcast, not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. Lovely. Come on, a, b- a bit more energy now. A bit more energy. We'll say that again now, right? You we'll do it again, right? All right. <gasps> right. Here we go. Ready? You ready? You ready? Hello, everybody. How's it going? And welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. All right, lovely. That's a better one. Hello, everybody. And I just want to say before we get into it, remember every Monday, Spotify, GMT time, um, 10 a.m. And on Thursdays, the YouTube um, video version, GMT time, uh, 6 p.m. Um, yeah. Oh, you're saying that wrong when you say that. No, I'm not. GMT time, that's how you say it. No, because then you're saying time twice. Right, so what does GMT stand for? Greenwich Mean Time. So I'm saying Greenwich Mean Time time. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Because that's who I am. And I'm not going to change for anybody out there, not even you that are watching right now. Um, it looks like the audience member over in the corner there is falling asleep. Yeah. We need to liven them up a bit. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Let's talk about your... Um, experience this past weekend right so I want to talk about what happened to me um, it's very serious and I thought I was going to die if I'm being honest um, so I joined a football club recently with a, a friend of mine can I just stop for a second you yeah. have an extremely long nose hair coming out of your nose no I don't do I? yes it's like literally down to here no yes it's extremely Oh my long. god, it did. Will it pull it? Yeah. Right, hold on. Right, let me get your screen. You ready? One, two, three. Did you? Oh! oh. The length of that. When did I start getting nose hairs? You have nose hairs. They're, some of them are coming out. I'm getting to that age. You ever see, like, see people in their 40s and 50s that have grey out? Look at the other nose. Yeah, you have a, a lot of Alright, well, we'll leave it for now, okay? I'll pluck them afterwards or something like that. I'm getting to the age now where I have to pluck. Yeah. I'm only 25. you get ear hair now. No, I'm not. I'm not, getting, no, I'm not getting ear hair. How do you know? Check. There's a little bit there, but not, not, it's not, like, prominent yet. Alright, lovely. Prominent. Um, yeah, so we're going to go... Sorry. Um, right, so back to my story. Before someone interrupt me over and yeah, nose well, here. I, could, I couldn't stop staring at it, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, right, so I joined a football team recently. And... Let's just say I'm not the best player, but I'm not the worst player. I'm just an all right player. I'm just an all right player. The audience member just put his hand up and went, right, what else would you say? Yeah. And I've been, I've, I, I scored, I went training twice. We played two little matches in training. I scored both times. And you have to take in mind that like you've literally went from having pretty much zero activity level straight into football training. Yeah. Like you'd walk. Uh, like probably every day but you wouldn't do exercise no I wouldn't exercise because uh, I don't do exercise that was me slapping my belly for the Spotify listeners um, so I got this really bad pain on the right side of my lower yeah it was the lower right side of my abdominals and me and you start looking up symptoms on Google and I think that was the best thing to do of everything isn't well, it first of all you've been given out saying you have a really sore pain in your side for about two weeks yeah so like it was going on for a very long time yeah it was going on for about a week and a half but it only started when i started playing football so what happened was that i thought it was appendicitis yeah i'm still convinced it's appendicitis the doctor told you it's not i'm still convinced so what happened was is that i went to tala hospital at 6 p.m 7 p.m 7 p.m 7 p.m i was in that waiting room from 7 p.m until half to three o'clock the next day no you were in the waiting room until 6 a.m no but all together was yeah your total time yeah but you were in the waiting room till half till 6 a.m yeah let's just say i was there for about 30 hours in total you were about 30 hours Go. anthony was in the hospital for 30 hours that is the thumbnail uh oh. that's the name of the podcast but the majority of that time was just spent waiting waiting yes yes um yeah but from seven o'clock until six p.m i wasn't seeing the amount of people that were given out and i know six a.m uh, people weren't seeing um, and i understand with covid everybody you know everybody's um trying to do the best they can do i've heard some stories in there 
I heard like when I was lying in bed I honestly thought that oh no I'm going to have to go for surgery and I'm going to die in that operating table we looked up the statistics less than 1% of people who get appendicitis surgery die I would be that unlucky to be that 1% no you're just overthinking no listen for anyone that knows me I'm not an overthinker yes you are I don't overthink Yes, you do. And I'm not afraid of barely anything, really. You're afraid of everything. I'm afraid of nothing. And everything. I'll challenge any child to a fight. No, you don't. Yeah. So, um, six o'clock in the morning, I had to charge my phone ten times during the night. Because you had to stay awake all night. All night. Um, sorry, live audience. Would you check if this is recording? Because I probably recorded this. Is a little red dot on the little yoke? Yeah, grand. Lovely. Imagine all this time. Can we have can we have a clap for effort? Thanks. Someone was masturbating in the corner there. Uh, that's what <laughs> Nicholas' face is so disappointing. Uh, disappointed. Uh, not disappointing. You don't have a disappointing face. You just disappointed to look when you look at me. Um, yeah. So I from I literally charged my phone like ten times. Um, I only went up twice to ask that they call for me. I ordered McDonald's to the hospital. And a just to eat man came out and was terrified to give me it just in case he thought I had fucking COVID or something. And then what happened was I was the only one in the hospital besides, right, what happened was there was this girl and she, we were in little cubicles. And what happened was is that she came in McDonald's and I was like, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. I'm this close to what I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. There's so there's a glass sheet, but you, obviously you can hear around it. So I goes, doof, doof, doof. I like I, I hit her a bit too hard, so I thought I was scared of her. And she went, yeah. And I goes, do you order McDonald's? And she goes, no, I got someone to just buy it for me and bring it up. One of a family member goes, can you order McDonald's? She goes, yeah. So I got a barbecue wrap huh. without the lettuce. <laughs> I got a Coca Cola. I'm Fred choking on lettuce. We covered that in another episode with Michael D. Um, people like the Michael D. Higgins episode so far. Yeah. We I think it's one of the most viewed episodes we have so far. It probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Michael. If, if you're watching. Um, and um, yeah. So back. To, sorry. I got a McDonald's. Uh, I ate. It. I had no appetite. I felt like gagging every time I ate food. I don't know why. And what happened was is that I start becoming real sleepy and at one point I was going to lie on the ground beside the vending machine and go asleep some guy came in and his whole face was busted wide open he couldn't remember who he was it was scary and there's me thinking I'm going to die around these people tonight I'm going to die and it's the first time I ever thought something like that I'm usually a positive thinker I never overthink it I'm never negative uh, yeah right whatever no Nicola no negative thoughts on this book would you not have get gotten um, like a Red Bull or a coffee to try stay awake? I don't drink coffee because I'm hyper enough and I'm afraid I'll be addicted to try stay awake all night no listen and we're going to talk about coffee in a while you right yeah um, so uh, right so I'm going to speed it up it's a podcast, I can talk as long as I want, but I'm going to speed it up. Yeah, so I got seen at 6pm, I got told to go down, and I got I got me bloods taken. Was She looked at me and said, you'll be grand, you have tattoos. I said, yeah. And then she looked at me, she looked down to put it in. She looked back up, and I was looking away up at the ceiling. And she goes, do you not like looking at like it? I don't like looking at it. Wait. I'm afraid I'll faint. From looking but up. that's like I usually don't think like that I always just think bravely and I'm a heroic all the time but <laughs> it was just this one time I don't know why and um, yeah it was just so weird and then I got my bloods taken and Joe she said to me she, Joe she said to me I goes usually to do it on the right arm mm. and she goes we'll do it right there what's that vein called your artery yeah yeah she goes we'll do it in there and Joe she said to me she turns around to me and she says sure it'll bleed a lot for a little bit but it'll stop eventually mm. hopefully <laughs> and she starts laughing I'm there going 
That's not funny. <laughs> That's not. She's just trying to like make you <laughs> relax. I wasn't relaxed. I was more tense than ever. If she took my blood pressure, then I guarantee it was through the roof. But right like, when you were getting your tattoos, you were looking at the guy doing it. Yeah. What? How was that different than looking? I don't know. It's just because you see blood coming out. But you see blood coming out. No, not really. Yeah, you do. No, you have one little tattoo on your leg no. that we got because we got it for a Christmas present and an anniversary present. I uh, just uh, our anniversary gone twenty fourth of December two thousand sixteen is when I asked her to get with me. But I've seen you get tattoos and I've seen when they wipe the blood. I, I think the older I get, I'm more aware of I'm going to die someday. So what does that have to do with blood? The audience member nodded his head. I don't even think he knew that, but or she knew that. She can be, he or she, they can be they if they want. They don't have a symbol. Nice, another masturbator in the room. Oh, thank you. Less masturbating, please. Um, yeah. So what happened was is that I'm lying in bed and there's a person to the right of me and there's a person to the left. And some, I'm going to say this, I can say, I don't want to, I'm not telling the other two stories because they're their own personal jokes, but this fella is a gobshite. So I'm lying in bed. I'm now in the bed about an hour and a half. It's half seven. I, I was given a bed at 6, p, at 6 a.m. I can't believe you. Yeah, no, go on, go on. Right, no, go on. No, Finish no, your no, sentence. Go on, go on. No, 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 go on, go on. You declined the tea and coffee or the tea and toast. I declined the tea and toast. Why? I don't know why. I, I, I thought in my mind, I goes, if they give me tea and toast now, they're trying to settle me in because they're going <laughs> to. They're going to. Settle you in for the day. Yeah, because they're going to come, come around to me later on the evening saying, listen, you have appendicitis. You're going to need surgery. And I know there and then they're trying to soften me down with some toast. Oh. And I am not going out that way. You're not going to give me toast to try to settle this argument. That was just the breakfast hour. I know. And I didn't know that then. Because they came back around at lunchtime. And he's at 12 or 1. And literally said to me, would you like a sandwich and some tea? And I I haven't. I ate, I ate McDonald's at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. I did not eat until 12 o'clock the next day. And you were awake all that time. All that time. Literally. And what happened was, is that... Right, so the fella in the bed, I was lying in the bed, and the nurse comes in, and this guy was having heart palpitations. And he was like, uh, I took a panic attack in February or so, and, you know, I'm starting to get pains in my chest now, and stuff like that, and I'm getting pains in my sides. And in my head, I'm like, oh, you probably have anxiety. Because that's what I have as well, and I know a few people that experience anxiety, they get random pains or shock pains or so, right? Uh, it's your body reacting or whatever way it does. And the nurse goes, right, she's asking him, what's your name, what's your age, and so on. He's young, he's about my age or so as well, you know. Uh, and what are you laughing at, right? He's about my age. And the nurse goes, have you ever done any drugs? And he goes, yeah. And she says, have you drink? He goes, no, I'm not a big drinker. He goes, okay. She goes, what drugs have you taken? Like, you know, in your life. He said, he's taken cigarettes he's taken the puff if you know what I mean that's what he said puff I've, I've puffed he said I've done cocaine and I've done ketamine and I'm there in the bed fully invested in this conversation now I didn't want to know who these people were I didn't want to be comfortable because I, I knew in my head I didn't I don't want to be here for surgery I don't want to get to know these people I was fully invested in this fella's conversation now. I was airwigging. I was like an old woman at a wall in, in an council estate listening to the conversation across the road. You're nosy anyways. I'm not nosy. Yeah. I just love a good storytelling. So what happened was... So, right, right, listen, right? So what happened was um, that the nurse then turned around and the nurse said to the young fella, when was the last time now, this was Thursday night going into the Friday morning, yeah? No, Friday going into Saturday morning. Friday going into Saturday morning. When was the last time you've done any drugs? Sunday, he says. She goes, all them, dr all them you just named now, did you do them on Sunday? He said, yeah. I sat there with my hand over my mouth, giggling like a little girl. Laughing, going, no shit, Sherlock, you're in here with fucking heart potato, Joe, like, with your, with your heart racing and you're getting pains and you have anxiety attacks. Like, that is not normal to do. Like, you shouldn't be taking that type of stuff and then going into the hospital wondering, what's happening to me? I wonder why this is happening. Yeah. You're taking drugs, you gobshite. Yeah. And what you, what's your concept on drugs? 
Oops. Would we take some once, me and you, just puff puff? No, I think it's ridiculous. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go off to Amsterdam and just experience it with a little cake or something. No. no. Very well done. Very smart. Audience member, can we go and check what time the camera time is on that place? Um, it's the audience slash cameraman. So could you tell us, please? 10.04. 14. 14. Now, please talk. 15. 25. 15. 15. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lovely, and I have master bear in the car. Yeah, lovely. So fifteen. So we have fifteen more minutes. Lovely. Um. Yeah. So I was then. I heard that. I heard them, and I was laughing. And then someone else, someone else was told that they might have a blood clot in their brain. And I was like, Oh my god, that's horrible. Then it comes to this woman, and they say you have appendicitis. The way I was sec- I was last by the way. They had to tell me, so I thought they were going to give me the worst news of all. I thought they were going to say you have cancer or something. Um, and I thought they were going to wait until everybody goes to tell me the worst news possible in the room that day. Someone took a panic attack. Someone got a blood clot. Uh, some other girl wasn't. Yeah, you know yourself. And some girl thought she had COVID, and she was right beside me. What she didn't? She just had her muscle spasm in her chest. And what happened was, is that she got told she had appendicitis and she has to stay in to get surgery. The nurse opens my curtain. She comes to me, asks me these questions, presses down on where it is, yeah. Anthony, um, so I know what it is. You tore a muscle, <laughs> um, probably from football that you told me. Um, it's not your appendix, and it'll be okay. And I, right there and then I realised, I waited 30 hours with no sleep and no food to be told that I pulled a muscle. And that's given me a big perspective on how exa- how much ex- I exaggerate. Yeah, I like you are the type of person to go into hospital over a paper cut and say that you're... That, no, the audience members are agreeing with that and I don't agree with any of these audience members right now. You, you're the type of person to go into hospital with a nosebleed and thinking that you're going to die. I could, I could have internal bleeding in the nose. No, like you're the one that would go in for like a simple, like there's nothing even wrong with you. Right, we don't know that, and we 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 win. We're told you got a blood test. They said if you had appendicitis, they would know. By yeah, I got a blood test. Everything came back clear. My urine came back clear as well. Um, so yeah, it was a little yellow. <laughs> it was yellow. It was yellow. Yeah. Um, I drank like three, four bottles of water when I came back here as well. And what I want to talk about is so basically what it is is that I'm an over exaggerator. Yeah. I'm probably a, a, what are them people yeah. called a hypochondriac. Yeah, like if you see someone sneezing or being sick, you're like, oh, I'm sick as well. No, I'm not that bad now. I'm not that bad now. No, 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 no. Mm. Mm, I'm loving it. No, I'm not. Here. Right. You said it before. No, I'm really not that bad. But you know, if you have a pain, go get it checked. Um, yeah. If it's serious, not yeah. if, it's like if it's serious, Black Harry Potter show. Oh. Yeah, and I want to talk about uh, you as well. Now we're getting off the subject. Now that's what happened to that me, guys. That was my whole story, and I came out the other side with just a pulled muscle. And so are you fully recovered now? I'm not. I'm still farting. I'm still. I'm so sorry to the people that are listening and watching this. I'm farting. It's mad. My stomachs are still sore. That pain still comes on every now and again but it's a, it's a muscle yeah so that just means you have to strengthen up your abs yeah i do i don't have abs i have i have kebabs kebabs are stored in here and that's what i want you don't even eat kebabs i don't like kebabs um so listen i want to get to you right now as well um something happened yesterday and it's life changing we have friends right i want to start off by saying um we have a friend called rebecca that is vegan and vegetarian yeah, yeah no, and, vegetarian. vegetarian whatever right vegetarian. and she she's running a cult and i don't care what anybody says nicola became one of their members of the cult because nicola is now a what vegetarian vegetarian and James kind of listen 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 and then james that would eat steaks and love steak he started become one and then it was only me and sarah left and me and sarah would eat chicken burgers and that was my like that was my chicken burger buddy like cbb chicken burger buddy uh try to say that fast chicken burger buddy chicken burger buddy uh, audience member can you say that fast lovely thanks um yeah cbb cbb's oh do you remember cbb's chicken buddy buddies yeah um so what happened was is that she then became it 
And I'm the only one left out of all that little friend group. And do you know what you've discovered recently? What? When you eat chicken, your stomach feels sore. It's sore? Yeah. But I'll still eat chicken. Why would you go through that pain? Because it's juicy and tender. Right, so listen. So, James likes coffee. He's a mad coffee freak. He walks yeah. as a coffee packer. Sarah loves coffee. Oh, um, Rebecca would like coffee as well. I don't think she does. Maybe. No. I'm just saying that you have a little cult going on and you are trying to drag me into this because you're now... You like coffee. Really Come on. Me. Now, you tell me about your coffee. I tried one coffee yesterday. What did you try? A caramel frappuccino blonde roast with extra caramel and whipped cream on top. Is that an approval from the audience members? Oh, she... Uh, maybe... Oh, yeah. The only reason I got it was because I was really, really tired yesterday during the day and I literally could not keep my eyes open mm. and I needed to because it was only like 12 o'clock mm. and I said, you know what, I might try a coffee to try pick me up. And did it pick you up? Yeah. I felt, Physically? No, but I felt... Mentally? Yeah, I felt much more awake after it. And I wasn't tired anymore. So are you now going to not eat me and become a coffee lover? I don't know. I still have to get used to the taste of it. But I think I would get it again. We have to... We need to... No. I got you to smell the coffee after and you actually said it smelled nice. I said it smelled nice but there's no fucking way I drink coffee and... All you coffee lovers out there and vegans, especially vegans and vegetarians, yeah, especially them, please do not come after me. I love chicken and I'll never give it up, even if it makes me sick. But, like, do you not think of the actual animal and the amount of torture they go through just so you can eat them? That's the circle of life, babes. No, That's farmers trying to make money. No, this is the circle of life. We... What happens is that we eat animals and when we die and we're on the ground, animals eat us. Little small animals, yeah. Little small being insects. <laughs> everybody kills everybody. Basically. Who do plants kill? It's survivors. Plants? Yeah. Plants help us. Yeah, they don't kill And what do we do? We kill plants. We kill trees and chop them down for giving us oxygen. But when you chop down a tree, you plant another one in its place. Yeah, and then when that grows up, we're going to chop that down too. We're destructive human beings. We're a destructive species. We're destructive. Yeah, but lots of people are trying to make it better. No, only people that... No, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I love chicken. I love it too much. I love looking at chickens when they're going around the field. I don't... You've never seen... I love chickens. chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. <laughs> and I... <laughs> what happened to... Have you ever... What What time are we on? 22. Oh, this is... This cameraman. Have you ever actually seen a physical chicken? I've seen so many chickens. No, in seriously. No, seriously. Well, I, yeah, when I went to school trips in the farm. <laughs> You go to Dublin people go to farms and think it's the best thing ever as a child. When we come into your town, you go, look at these idiots looking at goats and thinking it's amazing. So you've seen a chicken? I've seen chickens. That's mad. That's not mad. Why? Because I'm from Dublin. No, I just didn't think you'd ever see a chicken. I don't know what to say right now. How, how, can you, how are you so shocked that I haven't seen a chicken? So you haven't? But I have seen a chicken. <laughs> so you're making me feel weird. Why? It's just... Because the only one out and everyone else it doesn't. No, because I'm the only one left that <laughs> knows that from hundreds of thousands of years is that us as primates, we need to eat this type of stuff. We need it for protein. And don't come around to me and say, you can get protein from other stuff. and all. Yeah. You can't get... That's not natural protein. It is. It beans and lentil. You fart. That's all your wind gone. No, there's lots of sources of protein. No, I'm sorry, but a nice steak elk. You don't even eat steak. I eat what I want and I'll try it. Have you ever eaten a steak? I had a steak before, but not a good steak. Yeah. No, Sandra's always made steaks that are very... 
the very I, did you hear because they went here going from someone's belly I am um, and and it's very rubbery. I never had a nice sweet steak. The next time when restaurants are open, you should order a steak. I don't think you'll like it though. But no. But what do I always get? Chicken burger. Chicken burger. Chicken curry. I'm gonna turn into one. And when I do, eat me, baby. Eat me up. Eat me up. Okay. Mm-hmm. So back to your coffee thing, right? You're into coffee now. I had one coffee. Yeah. It's madness. We'll see what happens. Do you completely change? Do you start wearing different colour scarves? Do you wear a hat? Do you go around saying poetry by people saying, Why doubt they who doubt those in thy first place? And I go, Well, I doubt you. That's what I'm going to say. Why did my accent change? I don't know, because maybe everything else is changing. So you're literally going to, your accent's going to go from, How's going, Paddy? You will, to, I don't, don't doubt me. You know? Drinking one drink does not change you. Oh, we'll see. Um, yeah, so this is the episode. Um, I just want to say before we go as well that we're in a different space right now. If you're watching the video, we're in a different space for the Spotify listeners. We're in my grandparents' house, my auntie's house. And we've been staying here for a few days because we're getting ready to film The Hitmen. And by the time people see this... Um, We've already filmed the fourth scene, the hit, me, the hit, the group scene, because it's come out Thursday. Um, I'm looking for, I'm very excited, and I hope it went well. Anyway, when we were on the day, we were very organized. We're ready. I think we're more than ready. I think we're, Are we're you nervous for something. I'm not nervous. I'm excited. But like, it's going to be a lot of work on us to make sure everything is there. you have to enjoy yourself it's a no, roller coaster let it bring you let it ride you don't ride the roller coaster let it ride you yeah but you can't just expect everything to go fine you have to be the one that makes that's it. what filmmaking is when something when a problem comes up you don't look at the problem you really well you don't stick with the problem you look at the problem and then you go right plan a isn't working we need a plan b and that's what happens with filmmaking there's some fella in the audience looking like he's chewing the jaws of himself no, some of the audience. Uh, he's like, he's like this. He's going, yeah. Um, right, so yeah, we've been here. And it's been scaring me, man. Because the last time I was in this house is when I was a young kid. In probably 2007. And where I'm looking right now in front of me was where my granddad was laid out. And it was the first time I ever experienced death in my life. And I've experienced death about two, three times after that. I've only ever seen that body. It's the first time I've ever seen that body and I never did. So when we go to bed at night, I get really scared in here. Like I do think that I feel, like at night time I do feel a presence. And I, yeah. I, I really do. When I go up the stairs, I'm walking by where the old bedroom was. I feel a presence. I really do. And it, it kind of freaks me out. But the house has changed so much and it's really lovely and it's really nice. And, and I don't know, I'm, I'm getting over it now as as I do. Um, but it, it's still it's still holding me from when I was a child. I just think that's weird. Well, I did go to hospital for 30 hours thinking it was maybe appendix and it turned out to be a muscle. So I'm going football as well tomorrow. So, well, by the time this is out, I'll be going today on a Thursday. <laughs> a week from now. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be three weeks <laughs> into the football. Um, three times by now. Yeah, three times in three, three weeks. That's madness one week yeah um yeah so that's it for this podcast really um nicola has to go home she has to drive home now so we thought we'd only do a real quick one um thanks so much we have a logo designed there's a new guy that his name is jake and uh, his link is right there you can see on the screen um on instagram please go follow him he created our new logo for us for snapchat oh sorry for uh spotify and youtube and stuff like that we're on spotify as we said um yeah guys so thanks very much for listening to another episode of the re podcast and watching another episode if you're watching as well and remember spotify 6 or 10 a.m gmt time um youtube Thursday 6 p.m. GMT time 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 and yeah uh, so Nicola let's 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 go yeah. wait you have to sign off I am signing off so guys remember it's not the best podcast it's not the worst podcast it's just the alright podcast thank you to my co-host and thank you to the audience lovely lovely yeah lovely guys thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week <laughs>